What's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, if you're old here, my name is Nathan Nazareth. I'm a 21 year old entrepreneur based out of Vancouver, Canada. And today I'm gonna be breaking down exactly how I became successful in less than one month of starting e-commerce. So about three years ago now, at the age of 18, I decided to put it all on the line and take a crack at starting my very own business. With basically no money to my name, no experience, no degree, no Einstein level IQ, I searched for the most viable way to make money online, preferably something that I could get rich from very, very quickly, and I found just that. But if you're new to it, don't go anywhere because when I first heard about Shopify dropshipping, I was extremely skeptical and I thought the entire business model was a scam as well. Back then, it was a relatively new concept, but there's so much misinformation about it swirling around. Some people were making a full-time living off of it and other people were just going around and saying it's too saturated, it's too competitive, it doesn't work, it's a dead business model. Don't worry guys, I've seen it all and those things that are happening right now were happening three years ago as well. There's always gonna be haters, there's always gonna be doubters, there's always gonna be excuses swirling around in the back of your head and from other people. You can't let any of that get to you when starting a brand new venture. So like I was saying, immediately when I found this business model, I thought to myself right away that it was a scam and not to trust all these internet gurus. But the more that I delved into the creator's videos online, the more that I saw that there was actually people my age and just a little bit older who were making ridiculous money with this business model and taking full advantage of it. And I remember at the time reaching out to every single YouTube creator, asking them about their experience with dropshipping. And basically every single one that got back to me told me it's legit, told me to dive into it, told me that I don't have to buy their program. So they weren't just in it to make money off of me. And that's exactly what I did. I went full swing with dropshipping. But what really gave me the confidence and the courage to take this leap, to you know jump into the unknown and begin my journey with e-commerce, was the fact that there were a bunch of guys on YouTube and girls sitting there who are a couple of years older than me, breaking down their experience with Shopify dropshipping, the results, the sales, the businesses that they've started. And I thought to myself, these people are no different than me. You know, they're no smarter than me, they're no more capable. In fact, they very much were me just a couple of years ago. And so the only difference between me and them is that they try and they put in the work, okay? And I want that to be known for every single one of you guys watching this. There's literally no difference between me and you. I'm not special. I don't have any crazy talents, any fancy degree, any Einstein level IQ, literally none of that. I'm just a kid who decided to try. And with that, I had to develop thick skin and a complete mindset shift. It was no longer a matter of, oh, I'm gonna give this dropshipping business thing a crack. It was not a matter of if, but it was a matter of when I will become successful. And I locked that in from day one. I don't wanna get into my personal life, but I'd spent too many years failing. It was my time to succeed. Failed in my sporting career. I was never getting the best grades. I knew it was my time to finally succeed at something. And this is what it was gonna be. The sport of entrepreneurship was my new competitive arena. Now I was in business school at the time and they're always preaching about how you should be passionate about what you do as an entrepreneur. And so that was one thing I took with me from day one too. I knew that if I was gonna make this work, not only was I gonna be in this for the money, but I had to genuinely enjoy and find love in what I was doing and creating. So first thing I did, I thought to myself, what am I passionate about? And at the time it was sports and fitness and all these things. And so I think you can guess what my first product ever was. That's right, it was the classic resistance band dropshipping set. Funny enough, these things went crazy during the whole Rona situation. But anyways, I modeled my website after TRX. If you've heard of it, it's basically a big fitness company that sells these premium resistance bands. And I started plugging away at a basic Shopify theme to build the initial website. I remember ordering my very first video ads for Facebook from a freelancer on Fiverr, just like it was the other day. And within, I believe, four short days, I had launched my very first dropshipping store ever. Anyone wanna take a wild guess at what happened? Complete flop, you nailed it. I went four days spending over $400 and I was wildly unsuccessful. But one very special thing happened on the last day. I got my very first sale ever. Now, even though I was wildly unprofitable and I had started to eat away at the little savings that I had, that very first sale gave me all the confidence I needed to march on forward. Literally try to think about this from my perspective right now, as a you know, 17, 18 year old kid, I'm sitting there, I got a sale, and I realized that somebody from somewhere in the world 
actually saw the ad that I made, that I posted, clicked on it, went to the website that I built with my own two hands and my keyboard, they went through my checkout process and they actually pulled up their credit card to buy the product. I mean, I don't know if you guys feel that same feeling that I do when I think about that, it kind of gives me goosebumps, but it's absolutely wild to me. The fact that I was able to do all of that sitting from my computer at home and I made that sale in my sleep. And so I'm so passionate when I still talk about it because that sale was honestly one of the greatest feelings I've ever had in my life and I still remember it like it was yesterday. This guy right here was capable of building a store, making ads, launching ads on the Facebook ads platform, and actually having real people come to my site and purchase my product that I sourced from a supplier or I think AliExpress at the time. Crazy. So now I had real momentum. Obviously I shut down that store because it was so unsuccessful. I had a load of lessons learned and I was fired up and ready to take on the world of business. But there I was, back to square one, rinsing and repeating the same launching strategy, but making tweaks and adjustments and optimizations along the way. I told myself with every failed product, with every failed store, I had to have at least three big takeaways, three learning lessons or areas of improvement before my next launch. I was beyond committed. In fact, my parents thought I was going insane. I hadn't seen my girlfriend in weeks. What is wrong with you? It was just me every single day in front of my computer for 16 hours. Some days I swear I even forgot to eat. But anyways, three products later and after burning through every penny that I had, I found my very first winning product. I fell in love with you on Facebook. I woke up to a 4X return on ad spend, a feeling that I still remember to this day. I did it. I own a successful, profitable online business, I thought to myself, and I was making money in my sleep. I was so excited, I was running around, I was telling all my family and friends, and not one person congratulated me, at least genuinely. They told me to go get a job, that my few little sales of a product that's probably crap from China isn't gonna get me anywhere in life. But at this point, I knew. I had so much delusional confidence in myself and in the business model after seeing my first profitable day, the winning product, my initial sales, I was on a roll and nothing was going to stop me. 27 days later, I found success, real success. A week after that, I had my very first $1,000 day. Three weeks after that, I had my very first $5,000 day. I remember waking up, checking my phone instantly. I'm so excited the sales. I, you know, I couldn't even go to sleep because of the adrenaline and the Shopify notifications. Like there was so many nights where I remember waking up randomly in the middle of the night, checking my phone, checking my phone. Like it was just, I couldn't even sleep properly. My subconscious brain was firing. That's how excited I was to be in this position. But I woke up and I checked my phone and I was at like five, 4,000 something on the dashboard and a portion of that, a good portion, I think 20 to 30% was profit. Imagine you're an 18 year old kid and you wake up to a $1,000 in profit. Do you know, like, do you realize how crazy that would have felt for me? I really hope I'm giving you guys, you know, a good visualization of what I went through during that time period. But here's where things get even more interesting. One month after that, after being wildly successful and making more money than I ever could have imagined starting out that quick, my business was shut down and a few major mistakes on my end ruined it all for me. My first winning dropshipping store and winning product turned into an ultimate disaster. I had long shipping times, I was getting chargebacks left, right, and center, so many complaints. I was using stolen content on my ads, on my website, everything, and I think you can guess what happened. My Facebook feedback score dropped below a 2.0, meaning that I lost access to the ads manager. Actually, my entire Facebook profile got disabled, so I couldn't go in and access the data or anything. So imagine, you know, that crazy high that I was riding there comes to a halt all of a sudden, literally overnight. I wake up, zero dollars on my dashboard. And this isn't even funny now because this kind of takes me down a, a little dark period here where for a month, a month and a half, two months there, you know, I was not doing well uh, mentally. Uh, I had made some money and I managed to, you know, avoid any legal trouble with the stolen content and I closed the store and I had a decent amount of cash and so I started going out and spending it and doubting myself and feeling sorry for myself and I went out and bought a car and I started going out a lot and buying expensive clothes and jewelry and all these things. And this period is still something I look back on and kind of hardcore regret because had I not done that, I would have been so much farther ahead. I would have had all that capital to use and reinvest right away. But 
the end of the day, I guess I am glad for going through that because it really taught me a lot about myself. And I don't know, I just, I, I learned a lot during that process for sure. The bottom line, uh, at some point, I pulled myself out of there, gave my head a shake and I said, you know what, I did this once, I can do it again. I can do it on a way bigger scale. I can take the lessons that I learned big mistakes that I made and be sure as hell that I don't make those mistakes again so I can scale a brand successfully. So I did. I refined and built a process that I could plug and play with every single new product that I came across. Two short years later, I started documenting the process with over 50 videos now on my YouTube channel, hundreds of videos on TikTok and my Instagram stories, and I currently have three e-commerce brands generating me over $100,000 per month in profit. One sec, I'm gonna grab my phone and look at the dashboard just in case anybody doesn't believe me. So I'm not gonna go through all of my stores, but here's one of my brands that's done $414,000 year to date. Let me hit that with a refresh for you guys as well. There you go. I'll let it load. There you go, $414,000 to date. So yeah, I mean, that's kind of the beginning of my story. I hope you liked it, and I hope this can help fuel at least one person out there's entrepreneurial journey. Success is never linear, and when I was initially successful, I still suffered huge losses, came close to quitting, had mental breakdowns, and really went through it all. And I know I'll still go through the highs and lows. I'm only 21, and I have my full career ahead of me, and I cannot be more excited, thankful, and grateful for the opportunities I've been blessed with thus far. And I know I seemed a bit sad at points there going through that portion of my story, but I really wouldn't have had it any other way. And I'm so thankful that I can now come on here and share this story and help some people out there who were in my position just a couple short years ago. If anyone wants to get connected with me, my Instagram will be down below. Let's chat over DM. I try to get back to each and every one of you guys. I would also really, really appreciate it if you guys wanted to smash that like button for me for the YouTube algorithm. So hopefully I can reach and impact more people. And also congratulations to Henry for being the winner of the custom built dropshipping store giveaway that I do every single week. So if you're Henry, shoot me a message. We'll get right in the works of setting up your store. And same rules apply for next week. Like, comment, subscribe. That's all you gotta do. You're automatically entered. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next week for a very special video. Peace out, guys. Perfect.